Hello, Happy New Year, and welcome to my five round pub quiz. It's very easy to play. Uh, all I'd say, if you're keeping track of score, grab yourself a pen and paper, make life a little bit easier. And if you need any extra time on the questions, feel free to pause them, uh, take a moment more, that's fine. Um, so before we get started, as always, I'd like to give a quick shout out to the top three scores from the last quiz that we did. Uh, some really good scores as well. And thank you to everybody who played. So in third place, with a brilliant score of 51 out of 60, was Adam M stroke S. Brilliant score, Adam, well done. Regular quiz on my channels always scores well, Adam. Good job. In second place is the Sheldonians with an excellent 52 out of 60. Well done, the Sheldonians. Love the name. And the winning score, first place is Lee Stuman Stan with an excellent 55 out of 60. I don't know if that's one, two, or three people, but whoever, well done. Re really, really good score. So uh, we'll start with this quiz. It's five rounds. Round one, as always, is a picture round. Round two is an entertainment round. Round three this week is a landmarks round. Round four is a top five round, I'll explain later. And round five is a general knowledge round. Uh, I will give you answers after round two, after round four, and the final rounds. Um, so I hope you enjoy, and best of luck. So round one is a picture round. There are 10 pictures of famous people, places, etc., and you'll have 12 seconds to answer each. Let's see how you do. Number one, can you name this TV or movie star? Number two, can you name this gentleman from the world of music? Number three, who is this from the world of sport? Number four, can you name this historical figure? Number five, which company has this logo? Number six, which famous figure have I mutilated? Number seven, can you get the name of this song from the emoji? It's, it's a bit of a play on words this, on this one, so um, use your imagination. Number eight, can you name the city? Number nine, can you name this cartoon? And the final one in the picture round, what is this a close up of? Round two is the entertainment round. There are 10 questions. You have 12 seconds to answer each. Good luck. Number one, which actress played Baby in the 1987 film Dirty Dancing? Number two, in The Wizard of Oz, what was the name of Dorothy's dog? Number three, Figaro and Angelo were hit songs for which band? Number four, 
Which comedian did stand-up shows called Humanity and Animals? Number five, Hollywood is a suburb of which US city? Number six, who composed the film score for Gladiator and Interstellar? Number seven, which member of the Beatles was the oldest? Number eight, which actor played Batman in the 1960s TV series? Number nine, when first formed, how many members were in the group Girls Aloud? And the last one in the entertainment round, which of these film series contain the most films? The Carry On film series or the James Bond film series? I hope you enjoyed the first two rounds. We will now run through the answers and then go straight into round three and four. Let's see how you did. The answer to round one, this TV or movie star is Patrick Stewart. Number two, from the world of music, it's Chuck Berry. Number three, did you get the sports star? It is Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Well done if you got that one. Number four, this historical figure is of course Ludwig von Beethoven. The logo, did you get the company logo? It is LG. Number six, did you get the famous figure that I mutilated? It's Robert Downing Jr. And this was the tough one, the emoji song. Yeah, I say it was a play on words. It is a comma chameleon. If you see comma, 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 comma chameleon. So hope you got there. If you didn't like it, I'm sorry. Uh, number eight, did you get the city? It is Dubai. Number nine, the cartoon is of course Inspector Gadget. I think the real hero was his uh, niece Penny, if I remember rightly. And uh, number 10, the last one was the close up picture. It's a waffle. So the answers to round two, number one, which actress played Baby in Dirty Dancing? That was Jennifer Grey. Number two, the name of the dog in the Wizard of Oz was Toto. Number three, Figaro and Angelo were hit songs for Brotherhood of Man. Well done if you got that. Number four, which comedian had uh, shows called Humanity and Animals? Two separate shows is Ricky Gervais. Number five, Hollywood is a suburb of which US city? It's a suburb of Los Angeles. Number six, who composed the film score for Gladiator and Interstellar? That was Hans Zimmer. Number seven, which member of the Beatles was the oldest? 
it's Ringo Starr. Number eight, which actor played Batman in the 1960s TV series? That was Adam West. Number nine, how many members were in the, uh, the group Girls Aloud? When they first formed, there were five. And the last one, which of these film series contain the most films, Carry On or James Bond? It is the Carry On film series, uh, 31 films. Uh, James Bond, I think is 27, so uh, fa fairly close. Okay, round three is the world famous landmark rounds. Uh, it's a little bit different this round. There are two points available per question, so 20 points up for grabs. You will see 10 pictures of world famous landmarks. Uh, all you have to do is guess the name of the landmark for one point and guess the country that that landmark is in for another point. Uh, you will have around 15 seconds for each one. Uh, also, I'm not really needing this round, so I'll say goodbye and see you in the next round. We move on to round four, which is the top five rounds. There will be two questions and you have to give five answers per question. You'll get one point for every correct answer that you give. Uh, you'll have one minute to do each. Um, let's see what those questions are. So the first batch, name the five countries with the longest coastlines in the world. So the five countries with the long, longest coastlines in the world, your one minute starts now.
Question two, according to a poll on Statista.com, what are the five most popular New Year's resolutions made? And uh, Statista.com is an American site, may help, I don't know. Uh, your one minute starts now. We will now run through the answers for round three and four. Uh, personally, on round four, I got to play when I got to research the answers. Uh, I got three on the New Year's resolutions and four on the uh, longest coastline. So I hope you did better than me. Uh, let's see how you did. So the answer for number one on the landmark round, the landmark is the Brandenburg Gate. So one point for that. And another point if you said Germany. Number two, number two is really difficult. It is Lake Hillier, so a point for that one, and a point for Australia. Uh, it's also known as a pink lake, so if you took a punt on the pink lake, please give yourself a point. Number three is Machu Picchu, which is in Peru. So two points if you've got those two. Number three, I can never pronounce this one. Is it Maui? I think it's a Maui head, so one point if you said Maui, or another point if you said Chile or Easter Island. And number five is the Wailing Wall, which is in Israel. So a point for each if you got those. Uh, number six, this was a, another difficult one. Uh, the landmark is the White Temple, which is in Thailand. Looks fantastic. Uh, number seven, number seven is probably quite easy. It's the Terracotta Army, one point for that. And another point if you said China. Number eight, number eight is the Palace of Versailles, and it is in France. And number nine, it is Aluru used to be called Ayers uh, Rock, I think, uh, which is in Australia. And the last one, number 10, a point if you said the Trevi Fountain, and another point if you said Italy. And we go on to the answers for the top five round, which was name the five countries with the longest coastlines in the world. So I, I, uh, Canada is number one, Number two is Indonesia. Number three is Norway. Might have got a few people out, lots of islands in Norway. Number four is Russia. And number five, number five I didn't get, that is the Philippines. So uh, great job if you got that one. And on to question two. According to the poll on Statista.com, the five most popular New Year's resolutions made Number one is exercise more. Number two is eat healthier. Number three is lose weight. Number four is save money. And the last one, number five, is spend more time with family and friends. It'll be quite difficult to get five out of five on that one. So yeah, I hope you did okay. So we'll move on to round five, which is the general knowledge round. There are 10 questions. You will have 12 seconds to answer each. Good luck. Number one, Las Vegas is surrounded by which desert? Number two, 
number two. Which word represents the letter U in the NATO phonetic alphabet? Number three, how many legs does a crab have? Number four, what does a bibliophile collect? Number five, the Mona Lisa is kept in which museum? Number six, Port Moresby is the capital of which country? That's a difficult one, that one. Number seven, in Greek mythology, who flew close to the sun? So who flew too close to the sun, sorry. Number eight, Lundi is a French word for which day of the week? If you don't know, have a guess. One in seven chance. Number nine, which novel features the pirate Ben Gunn? And the last one, number 10, which chemical element has the symbol Li? Okay, so the answers for round five, the German knowledge round, Las Vegas is surrounded by which desert? It's the Mojave. Number two, which word represents the letter U in the NATO phonetic alphabet? That is uniform. Number three, how many legs does a crab have? They have 10 legs. Good job if you got that. Number four, what does a bibliophile collect? They collect books. Number five, the Mona Lisa is kept in which museum? It's the Louvre. Number six, a tough one. Port Moresby is the capital of which country? It's the capital of Papua New Guinea. Super impressed if you got that, well done. Number seven, in Greek mythology, who flew too close to the sun? It was Icarus. Number eight, Lundi is a French word for which day of the week? It's the French word for Monday. Number nine, which novel features the pirate, Ben Gunn? That is Treasure Island. And the last one, which chemical element has the symbol Li? That is lithium. So we've reached the end of the quiz. I'd like to say a really big thank you for playing. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, going ahead with this uh, with this pub quiz, I, I now have every Thursday off of work. So there will be a new pub quiz every Friday. And hopefully I won't look so tired and have to do it in the middle of the night. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So a big thank you again for playing. Have a great weekend and bye-bye.